Grand Sunrise Geminis, welcome to your reading. I am just so excited for you guys. Don't know why, I just am, all right? My North Node's in Gemini, so heck, I'm even excited for my own daggone self. So, Gemini, how we're going to do this, I'm going to do each element differently. But the one thing that you guys will all have in common is that there will be a full moon reading and so this is a full moon release the full moon is happening on the 18th of december so if you're watching this post december 18th then you'll know what you know i'm talking about as far as that new moon release all right so uh, thank you for stopping by um before i get started here two announcements one if you have not got your destiny card reading with sean from aligning souls check out that description box below hit my girl up for a destiny card reading oh my gosh your mind will be so blown away because mine sure was okay so the second thing Oh, the second thing was the new moon thingy. Okay, so <laughs> thank you so much for just, like, going with me on this Goofy Girls adventure, all right? Also, just a little side note, I'm celebrating Chapter 38, which means my birthday on December 15th. So I am really excited for Chapter 38 because 3 plus 8 equals 11. And I always have this feeling that things always open up in the any numerology value that equals 11 so here we go gemini we're gonna do your love reading first so i'm gonna ask universe this simple thing so first card is gonna be gemini gemini first card for Ge is gemini represents gemini in the relationship that they are currently in all right with self or with somebody so there's your first card i'll get all this out all right this is your person. The next one is what brings you two together. What brings you two together? This is the true love spread that I learned from a friend of mine. And I'm going to also take reversals, okay? So uh, two cards came out for that one. What are your strengths? What is the relationship's strengths? Two cards came out for that one. What is the relationship's weakness? What is the relationship's weakness? What is the weakness in the relationship? Okay. And then what advice can be given to strengthen? Thank you. And then the outcome of the relationship. Thank you. All right, bottom of the deck and the overall energy is deception. So somebody is not wearing a true mask here. Somebody's wearing a fake one. So somebody is either lying or not being very honest in this relationship, Gemini, okay? So Gemini, you showed up as separation, all right? So either you're wanting to separate with this person, you are already separated with this person, or that there is a separation about to happen with this person, okay? Okay. The other person, um, uh, this came out as, like, somebody, like, how they are is, like, come with true love, all right? So, this person, um, that you are with, that you were thinking about, this is somebody that truly loves you, all right? So, again, you two may be separated. So, let's see what's going on. What brought you two together, we have chemistry and we have honeymoon, which became in the reverse. So chemistry, I feel like with what brought you two together was the chemistry. There was a connection. There was like, um, let me grab my phone so I can read that to you guys. I feel like there was a connection, like a soul connection between you two, right? It says there's a strong magnetic connection here, all right? So again, you and this person may be separated. It's like two magnets, right? 
fit the, what brought you together was the chemistry so there is a connection here a strong connection here but again you two are separated and this person that you're separated with i feel like they feel like they're your true love or you already know that they're your true love as well so honeymoon it says enjoy the um holiday times together but it's in reverse you can't enjoy the holiday times together because you two are separated okay the chemistry is still there. There's still love here, but the connection is at a disconnect. All right. So what are you guys' strengths? We had two cards that flip out and both of them in the upright. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. So what brings you two together? We have unrequited love and reconciliation so unrequited love is lack of love of self all right so let's just say if you and this person may have gotten together like the the strengths in the relationship between you two is that maybe you two were in a relationship prior to each other that didn't show enough love but what also tell it shows me is that in like that it was a relationship within your own selves. Both of you had a relationship with your own selves where you didn't love your own self, all right? So your strength is to reconcile those differences. So say, for instance, you um, have a partner, Gemini, and I feel like it's kind of like a twin thing, right? So say if you and your twin, you both um, had lack of love of self. You know, you didn't love yourself. And you and your twin are deciding, you know what, it's, I'm going to start loving myself. So that's the thing that you're reconciling. You're reconciling the reasons and the things that have caused you to not love yourself. All right. As well as your you and your partner. If there was a moment where it was just like lack of love of self or lack of love and all like in a re in a relationship if you weren't given the love and attention and support that you needed from your partner and i feel like the other person your other partner the the true love has also been going through that again why do i say that because it's magnets right i feel like you two are just mirroring each other but like in in different ways so the the weakness in the relationship is retreat all right so sometimes like i could take this a few ways gemini sometimes it is very hard for us to like give in give up all right it says it's time to disconnect from the world so retreat sometimes it's hard to disconnect from the world sometimes you know the 3d that's right in front of us um keeps grabbing our tensions like oh something always happens when i'm trying to disconnect so say for instance like you are trying to plan a vacation, even if it's just with yourself or you're trying to spend some time, some quality time, all right? So say, for instance, you don't have a lot of quantity time with somebody, right? But you want quality time with somebody, all right? And it's like every time you try to want quality time with somebody, something always tries to pull you back. A phone call, work, this situation, that situation, something always comes up. All right. So what it's saying is this is causing you a lot of stress. And what it's saying is time to disconnect. All right. It's okay, Gemini, for you to take the time out to get what you need. All right. That's loving yourself. That's requiting your love, giving yourself that love. Disconnect from the world around you. Do something that's going to fulfill you, Gemini. Okay, do something that's going to fulfill you, Gemini's lover. Okay, all right. So that's the that's the weakness. All right, an advice that will help bring this you um this relationship together. And we do have a reversal. It says keep an all open mind. All right, keep an open mind. Your partner may be different from you. So the advice is 
th that's what's confusing me. It's like, is it it's saying like you're not keeping an open mind, Gemini? Is somebody not keeping an open mind and that's what they're, they're where the deception is? All right, somebody's not keeping an open mind. I feel like the deception is somebody's not keeping an open mind about being optimistic about this. Somebody's not keeping an open mind that this is the one, um, that this can happen. All right. Because it's the, the card right before it was disconnect from the world around you. So I feel like for some of you Gemini's that other people are actually deceiving you from what it is that you want. So you're needing to disconnect from those people and, Start believing in, you know, that this person may differ from you. They may be different. They may believe in different things. Who knows? You know, they could be, there could be an age difference. Um, but the fact that it came in reverse, keep an open mind. I feel like the advice is for you to keep an open mind. But for some of you guys, you can't. Now, for others of you guys, I feel like, you know, you've already made up your mind. You're so, you're so fixated on this is the, this is how it's going to happen. All right. But now what I'm also getting to is for those that are fixated on this is the line, this is how it's going to happen. You're so fixated on the end result that they're asking you to let go of the outcome. Know what it is that you want. Work towards what it is that you want. Let go of how it's going to happen. Only focusing on what it is you want and why you want it. Because when and how ain't none of your business. This is co-creation. This is your two that universe asks you, Gemini, especially you being the kid of the Zodiac with kid-like wonder. This is how you manifest stuff, okay? So focus on what it is you want and why you want it. And anytime anybody tries to come up with you with that deceptive energy or even yourself come up with that deceptive energy, oh, this can't happen. Ask yourself why you want it and what you want. Remember, keep in mind why you're doing this, what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it, all right? Because the how and when, the how and when is up to the universe, all right? Co-creation. You can't do it all by yourself, Gemini. There are people that want to help you. Universe wants to help you. Your angels, spirit guides want to help you. So allow them to help you. All you ever have to do is open your mouth and ask, all right? So... The um, outcome is <laughs> the outcome is worth waiting for. All right, what it is that you really want, Gemini, with that youth-like splendor, it's worth waiting for. Okay, so again, I say let go of the things you can't control, the when and the how. You can't control that. What you can control is what I want and why I want it. Let me tell you guys, like, when I was in school for massage therapy and I was about to take the the massage body work uh, licensing exam. Now, this exam is like 100 questions. You get 100 minutes and it's a rig real big deal because it's so random, right? And this is for your licensing. And, um... A lot of people get stressed out, like they overthink it. Um, so when I went to take mine, you know, um, it was kind of like I, I almost went into um, a tizzy, a topsy turvy kind of like, how is this going to happen? When, when, when will I know? And how, 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 how am I going to do? How am I going to do? When I had to stop and think, I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. All right, one, I'm prepared. I know I'm prepared because I trust in the process. Two, I sat there and I remembered why I'm doing massage, why I wanted to do massage, what I was doing massage for, what it was that I desired. What I wanted was to be able to utilize my favorite love language, which is the art of touch, right? The, the the language of touch, I wanted to be able to show people how much they are loved by just the simple act, act of touch, all right? 
That's how I show my love is by touch. All right. And it's for me, that's my biggest love language. I love to be touched. I love to be hugged. I love to be appreciated. And for me to give that to somebody that really needs it, that's why I do it. And then it also like was something, you know, in a sense that my dad bestowed upon me was like, you know, that was the way he showed me affection was by hugging me. Oh, okay. So here we go with some advice. Can we get advice for Gemini, specifically for Gemini in this relationship? What can Gemini do or advice can it, you give universe? Thank you for Gemini's. All right, Gemini's, we got a few cards for you. All right, it says express your joy, all right? It's time to express your joy, all right? The things that you want, they are there. Now, the deceptive energy could be the ones that are the naysayers, right? Nah, you can't have this. Nah, you can't have that. It's time to hush them lambs, put them to sleep. Them naysayers, uh, yeah, time for them to go back into barn and shut TF up, right? take the lead all right gemini i'm gonna need you to be large and in charge here all right so it's playtime, and you get to decide you get to decide what we're doing how we're playing this and what the rules are all right so gemini i need you to take that lead bring out that joy take the lead in bringing out that joy don't wait for somebody or something or a result to come bring you the joy Bring the joy first, and that someone, that something, that opportunity that you want will come to you. Why? Because the joy, like, like let's say this. I'm going to ask you this, Gemini. If you went to somebody and you saw that they were not happy, would you want to be around them if they were just rah, 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 grumpy, 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 grrr, right? Would you want to be around them or would you want to be around somebody that is happy, that is joyful, right? You want to be around somebody that's happy, that is joyful, that wants to have fun, that is ready to have fun, all right? But that person that is so grumpy and grouchy and wants to destroy your fun, do you really want to be around that? Do you really, does that sound like a fun time? Does that sound like something that will bring you joy? All right. I'm going to just say this because it was just funny that Ronan GT on TikTok mentioned something about Bob Ross. Everybody knew that Bob Ross sounded high as F, right? But it was the joy of painting. He made it joyful. You could be there like not even interested and as soon as you turn on some people can turn on bob ross and be like he's happy talking about these happy little trees happy critters that he's painting and you can just sit there and just boom watch this man joyfully paint and just be at all all right because why he brings joy okay so here we go with the other ones advice for gemini all right, this is count your blessings. Wake up every morning, Geminis. Wake up every morning being grateful for at least one thing. Start off with one thing that you're grateful for. I wake up with a list full of things I am grateful for. I'm grateful that I woke up. I'm grateful that I got to see today, that my eye still works, that I get to smell, I get to taste, I get to talk, I get to um, touch and I get to smell, um, if I haven't said that already, anyways, that I get to do all these beautiful things. That I get to sleep in a warm, safe place. That I get to, like, go for a walk whenever I want to go for a walk. And that air is beautiful and free. Nobody's charging me to breathe it. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> all right, so be grateful. Count your blessings. The things that you have. Count your blessings. Why? Because honey you you if you take something for granted it could be taken away from you instantaneously all right so if you're wondering why there was a separation between you and this person or you and this opportunity because you haven't counted your blessings some people take other people for granted some people take other people's presence for granted other opportunities other things other th 
situations for granted. And once these people start realizing that you're counting your blessings, that don't take things for granted, granted, like it's about quality and not quantity, right? Then your blessings will come to you. Last card out for you, Gemini, for this reading is face your adversaries. Adversities? Yeah. <laughs> face your adversities, all right? Things that are complex, things that you know you don't want to deal with, all right? You, there's a moment where, yes, our youth-like child state can be like, oh, we don't want to deal with it. It's so scary. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to, all right? But there's the thing. Once you face those adversities, the blessings start pouring in. So let me tell you a story before I leave. I was given an opportunity to work at this one particular spot. So I went for the um, interview and uh, lo and behold, when I went for the interview, the interviewer was actually the one late. I was on time, right? So this interviewer was almost 30 minutes late. Now, before the interviewer actually came to me, I just made a little declaration. I was like, I find that this is very disrespectful because there are things that I could be doing, other opportunities that I could be pursuing. And if this person does not come by a certain time, by 1030, I'm gone. All right. So the person came after like two minutes that I had said that. So it was about like three minutes before I would have walked away. All right. So I do really want an opportunity to work at a spa or to work at a location just so that I can utilize the education of what goes into a business. And, um, after the interview, I just had this feeling. It's just like, I don't feel like this is an opportunity for me because had I been the one that was late, this person would have looked down on me. Though I could apologize a billion times, that was the very first impression they would have got of me. So now flip that around. If it was okay for them to be late, would it have been okay for me to have been late? So I politely declined the opportunity for a second interview uh, to do a hands-on practical to demonstrate my skills. I, I politely declined that opportunity to go further with them and the blessing that came was another opportunity that I have an interview with coming up and this one um, offers a full-time position and I feel like it's going to be something that I really really will enjoy um, I can't really say I will just again I let go of the outcome and I just want to enjoy what uh, you know that I have the ability to utilize my gift of love the way I show love to help people all right and what I've also decided was to go ahead and go down the rabbit hole of investing in uh, the education of going into business for myself as well as making the initial investment as far as equipment goes all right so what uh, the whole gist there was I could have sat there and devalued myself, not showed myself love and respect by allowing this person to disrespect my time and disrespect me in this sense and be like, oh, it's okay, Becky, because you know what? I don't care what you think. Um, I just need a job because I need to put food on the table I'm uh, and all this other excuses. No, the fact that I trust that what i need will come to me what i need the universe will provide remember i need to focus on what and why and not on how and when okay so advice for gemini's partner advice for gemini's partner advice for gemini's partner advice for gemini's partner now this Gem gemini could totally just be you with yourself you and your twin right? You balancing your divine feminine with your divine masculine, all right? So this could totally be you with yourself. And you know, I can totally understand that because there was a separation between me, my masculine self and my feminine self. My masculine self was very dominant. I was always the giver. And there was a moment where I actually needed to be the receiver. That I, that I needed to accept that it was okay to receive help and support from other people. Other people um, or just from my community. All right. And here we go. 
So we have one and it is rejuvenate. Your person needs to rejuvenate, rejuvenate, relax, and just have faith and trust. All right. Now, Jemma, again, this could totally be you. You're needing to rejuvenate. Why? And I feel like you need to take a vacation and I say retreat and juvenate. All right. And we have that honeymoon that came out in reverse. All right. Some of you guys are not taking the honeymoon. It's time to take that honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday. Retreat, relax, and rejuvenate yourself. So go on holiday. Go on a vacation. Okay. All right. So here we go with the full moon reading for Gemini's. All right, I'm going to be pulling four cards, and that is what is about to be released in your life. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy. This is about something you've been working on, all right? So this could be related to work, career, whatever it is. Something that you've been so focused and dedicated on, right? Something you are trying to perfect. Here's the moon. So what we have, Gemini, is we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the moon. And we have... Eh, Gemini, I'm so happy for you, the lovers. All right? So, why am I so happy? What needs to be released? What needs to be released for Gemini? All right? What is coming up for release in Gemini? During this full moon, what's being released is old opportunities. Old opportunities that we've been overworking on, over-focusing on. We're, we're so materialistic, okay? I'm looking at the dark side of these things. Why? Because we have the moon here, which is about the shadow, all right? Again, we have love, lack of love of self. We had an imbalance. We have insecurities and in not knowing, okay? Insecurities not knowing, all right? And we have, like charisma and charm but not nothing serious all right so what's being released what's being released is all the unknowns where we need to be okay that we don't know gemini we need to be okay that you know what we're working towards is what we want all right we need to be okay that we're needing to release that workaholicism all right the material world yes it's very nice Yes, you want to work for the things that you really want and love in life and want that comfort, all right? But what is comfort to you versus comfort to everybody else? Like Gary V says, you're going to, if you're like desiring to ride a, like drive a, a BMW, right? So you're driving a BMW, you don't really care because I mean, it drives you from point A to point B, all right? And you live in an apartment or a condo or whatever kind of place and it's booze bougie 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 and you're making these ridiculous amount of payments right and you're just paying for the the aesthetics oh i'm keeping up with the joneses right but you're the one working so freaking hard you can't even enjoy life you can't enjoy life and that's toxic because lived spelled backwards is devil okay so when you're just so focused and consumed on the material things, you're not even enjoying life. You're not enjoying what you've worked hard for. Do you even, like, you care about, like, what other people think when those people don't give a 10 Fs about what you do? Like, they don't give a 10 F that you're tired as F because you're there trying to please them to be in the club, okay, in the big ballers club, but you're here working three jobs or five jobs just to make ends meet because you done purchased the Mercedes Benz or the BMW, right? And now you're suffering for it. That suffering is over, Gemini. Choose yourself. Choose what really makes you happy. And why say this with that moon, all right? This is something that you want to last for a long time. Material things are material things. When you pass away, they don't go with you. When you pass away, yes, you can move them towards your children, all right? 
And that's beautiful that you have something to give to them. All right. But nine times out of 10, your children, yeah, they'll keep something. <laughs> the funny thing is my, my dad, when he passed away, he had like spent all kinds of money on different kinds of things, he had weapons, like, you know, guns, rifles. He was a very admin outdoorsman. Everything else, my sisters took. My sisters took, they probably sold. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I can only assume. They sold or they've kept whatever. The only thing that I have of his is a fishing pole he rigged for me. Before he passed, we went to the beach um, during that, I think, like the previous year, summertime. We went to the beach and he rigged a fishing pole just for me. And it has bells and everything so I can hear when the fish grabs it. That way I know to reel it. So the most like people would think that that fishing pole would be the most worthless thing but it was the priceless thing like even a pair of his pajama pants if i had that that would have been the world to me all right whoo i'm about to get like i'm getting i'm getting a little emotional all right there's the emotional this is love it's love all right so that is your full moon reading so focus on things that you really want. What was I saying? Focus on why it is you're doing something and what it is you're doing. Why it is you're wanting to do this and what it is you're doing. All right. That is the most important message here. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in and for going with me on this emotional roller coaster ride. <laughs> And um, thank you so much for tuning in. If this message resonated or you like this message, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, comment down below. Check out the description box if you are interested in a personal session with me. And if you just want to donate to my birthday funds, it would be awesome. My birthday funds actually go towards my groceries, guys. I only live off of Social Security Disability, and that is only enough to get me towards, like, I I'm, I'm pretty much broke by the 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 eighth or ninth of each month and i'm having to ask friends um on facebook on social media for help so if you could just you know if you have it to bless others with i would greatly appreciate you know donations towards my grocery bills all right thank you so much for your time and namaste